Hi, this is Paula from Alanda Craft, and in this video I'm going to show you how to make a honeycomb shape, stencil shape, using the Brother Scan and Cut Canvas software. So what you want to do is come over to the basic shapes here and click on that to open them up. And the shape you want for this is this one here. So just click on that and it opens up there. Now while it's already highlighted, come up here to the offset tool and click on that one. And we want to drag this up to 0.4 of an inch. Now you can change this and have any sort of thickness for this as you like. You might want to change it and make it thinner or thicker. It's up to you. But we'll do, I'm just going to give you the basics. And then you can have to play around with it as much as you like. Okay, we want this to be inward. So make sure inward is clicked. And go OK. Alright, now what we want to do, because if I move these around now you'll see that they come apart. So we'll just undo that. We want these to stay together. So we want to click and drag to highlight everything. And we want to come up here to the subtract tool and click on that one. All right, so now if I move them, you'll see they stay together. Now right click on the shape and duplicate. So now we have the two. And what we want to do is line these two up. So I'm going to just zoom in a bit. And what we're going to do is line these up here. So we're going to line them up. So they overlap each other there like that. So these two nicely meet each other and these lines here nicely meet. Once you've got them like that, highlight the two by clicking and dragging and come up to the weld button. Click on that and you see they're welded. So that's great. Just bring this down a bit now. Okay, now we want to right click again on this shape and duplicate again. So we duplicate. We're going to do the same thing again. We're going to try and Line them up, and I always like to zoom in when I'm doing this so I know they're lined up nicely. And we just line them up nicely like that. Again, click and drag to highlight everything and weld. Okay, and what you're basically doing is you just continue to do this. So you right click, I might make this one smaller so we can fit everything on the screen. So I'm going to just click with, uh, hold the shift key down and drag from the corner to make it smaller. All right, I'm going to right click, duplicate, and again, I'm going to come up here, zoom in, and make sure these are nicely joined up. Looks pretty good. All right, and again, click and drag to highlight everything and weld. Okay, it's looking good. Now you can keep going as much as you like with this. I'm going to do this one more time. And probably put it there. Again, zoom in. Okay, make sure everything's lined up. And click and drag to highlight everything and weld. And there you go. It is simple as that. So you can make these, like I said, you can make them thicker or thinner here by using that offset tool at the start. You can have any sort of design you like. And you can make these bigger and small, smaller by just holding the shift key and dragging from the corner. So you could have nice little small um, stencils or you can make them really big to fit the page almost. It's really up to you. So it's simple and easy. To save this now you just come up and give it a title. I'm just going to call it Honeycomb and click on download. And then I right click and I'd save this to my um, you see the instructions are on here, so you right click and then you can save it to your computer and then put it on a USB or you can save it directly to the USB. So easy as that. Hopefully you can give us a thumbs up, it really helps us and thank you for watching.